<laughs> All right, uh, guys, this is a uh, video today. This is on my uh, <clears throat> Droid Bionic, and I'm going to show you guys how to install Safe Strap. Uh, this is Safe Strap 3.0 which is very new, just came out yesterday, um, and I'm really excited to use it and try it out. It's my first time to install this, so let's just uh, see how this goes. Uh, first things you gotta do is we're gonna go into settings and about phone, and you have to make sure you're running Ice Cream Sandwich on your stock system here, which is Android version 4.0. 0.4 this is a leak I'm running so you have to be on the leak if the official comes out you'll have to be on the official ice cream sandwich to run safe strap 3 so besides being on the leak or the official one when it gets released uh, you want to make sure you have root access which right here is super user and I do have root access on this device so this is going to be how to install safe strap 3 this will also same install will be for um, the Razer or the Droid 4. Uh, you need the same requirements. Also, you don't. You want to make sure you don't have any other safe strap or bootstrap recovery installed. Um, you can look on Hashcode's blog for directions on removing those things, so that you'll be ready to install. I have no other installed. So, download Safe Strap 3 APK, and you're going to go into your file browser. I like to use Easy Fi ES File Explorer. And then go to where you have it downloaded. Um, also make sure you have unknown sources checked in your device. Um, it'll be under settings. Uh, mine is. So I'm going to go where I have this thing downloaded, which is on the SD extension and Bionic ROMs. And right here you can see a little file called Safe Strap Ice Cream Sandwich 3.04 uh, APK. So we're going to click on that. And actually it is saying it's blocked. So here you'll get to see this. So we're gonna go to um, unknown sources and we're gonna hit all that and we're gonna accept unknown sources and then we're gonna go back and hit it and hit install. So this is gonna install the app for us slash APK file. Um, so now that we're done, we're gonna hit done. We're gonna go back to uh, our home screen and our app drawer and we should have safe strap right here you can see straight safe strap right there that icon so we'll click on it and we're going to go through the install process on it it's going to ask for super user you want to make sure it says remember make sure that's checked and then hit allow okay this is a little warning from uh, hash code basically saying if you mess up your device it's not his fault and he doesn't assume any responsibility for damages. So hit agree. And right here it says no install uh, recovery state not installed. So we're going to hit install. Um, it's going to go through this install process, which hopefully won't take too long. Um, and then cleaning up. Okay, so we're installed. Now we have safe strap installed. So from this point. We're going to go ahead and reboot the device, power off, and we will power back on, and we should have a new splash screen, which should have safe strap, and we should be able to enter recovery. Now, safe strap 3.0 uh, is based on twerp, T team win recovery project. Um, not clockwork mod recovery like it used to be, so this is going to look a little different. It's also going to be touch based. So let's see if we can get into it. Um, so you'll have to see, it's, you may have to uh, go to Team Win Recovery Project to really get a better feel of how it operates. You can see how mine goes when I get into it. So here's your splash screen. So we're going to hit the menu button. If I hit it in time, I think I did. Let's see. Okay. So this is your screen. Um, so the first thing I want to do is I make sure you have good battery life before you start doing this um, is I'm gonna make a backup of my system right now which is if you can see on top here it says safe strap recovery 3.0 twerp and then it says slot a ROM slot stock so I'm gonna make a backup of stock because that's the slot I'm in right now um, so let's see if I can do that go to backup 
just touch it and then I'm going to back up my cash see if it'll make my check boxes there we go and Android security enable compression requires more time and skip MD5 I want to keep those things so I'm going to set backup name and I'm gonna call this stock um, ice cream sandwich and then I'm gonna put the date which is 10 dash 15 dash 12 and then hit go so you can see now the backup name is stock ice cream sandwich and I want to use my external SD card to store it on which is checked down here so we're just gonna swipe this and it's gonna go ahead and make a backup for us so while this runs I'm gonna pause and once we have our stock system backed up we will move on to the uh, next step of this process so just a sec guys all right, so we finished the backup on our uh, Droid Bionic or Razer or Droid 4, whichever one you have. So we're gonna hit back. And also this little button down here is a back button. So we're gonna hit back again. All right, so at this point, we're going to go into boot options because we've backed up our stock ROM. And you can see we have four ROM slots, which is really, really cool. Um, and stock ROM right there so you can have up to four different ROMs if you have that much space on your SD card on this phone at one time installed so this is very very neat so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna hit ROM slot one and it's gonna ask us a couple things um, the biggest thing you're gonna see here is you have a system partition which is 600 megabytes and you have a uh, cache partition which is 300 megabytes and it tells you your space and then you get to choose how much data you want your data partition so I actually only want a gig because I looked on my backup that I just made and uh, I only had like 726 megabytes of used space on my data so I'm just gonna use a gig Let's see if I can select it here and I'm going to create ROM slot so it's creating a system image right now. I do not know how long this process is going to take. So probably going to pause again. The last backup took about five minutes. So I'm going to pause right here. And uh, we'll come back to this when it's done creating the ROM slot. Okay, that ROM slot creation just ended. Um, and it tells me now to choose a ROM. So we're going to highlight it. So we're going to choose ROM slot 1 because that's what I had. Um so it is activated I'm going to nickname it so a nickname and it's called ROM slot 1 we're gonna nickname it a o k p because that's the round that I'm gonna put in there and hit go um, so that looks good nickname is done so we can go back so ROM slot one is AOKP. Um, it says ROM slot is off. I don't know how we're gonna highlight it. Let's see here. Well, let's go back and see. Um, ROM slot one. There now it says it, but I'm showing why it doesn't say. Okay, so there you can see it's highlighted. ROM AOKP, which is also ROM slot one. Um, so that one is what we're going to be on now. So anything we do in here now, backup, install, restore, mount, wipes, anything that we do in Twerp is now going to be done to ROM slot 1, not your stock ROM. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do an install. So we're going to go to installs. And we're going to scroll. Hmm. Well, I'm going to pause here. I'm going to find out where my... Uh, ROM file is along with uh, my G-gaps G and I'll get back to you. Hang on a sec. Alright, so I found my uh, files here. They're under um, right here, Jelly Bean ROMs. So I can click on that and then I can hit stock AOKP for Targa, which is a Droid Bionic. So it's a Jelly Bean. So we found it and all we have to do is swipe to confirm flash so we're going to swipe it 
This is going to flash AOKP. Um, and as soon as it's done, we're going to flash the GGAP. So let's let this thing go here. Pause and come back to it. All right, well, that install was quite quick. So we're actually going to go back and we're going to hit the GGAPs and GGAPs. And we're going to swipe to install those. So this shouldn't take too long here. All right, so wipe. Cache and Delvic, so we're just going to do it really quick. Go back. All right, so now we are on ROM slot one, which is our AOKP ROM slot. So if I reboot right now, it should it should uh, boot into AOKP. So we'll hit reboot, and we'll see if we get a boot animation here and see what happens. Now you're still going to get the splash screen for safe strap, and you can still go in there right now and change things if you need to. Um, but Let's see you can hit the search button to continue so we're going to do that just to skip it you could also see that that was now a safe strap was now in green not red which means you're running in your safe system or your rom slot one you're not running stock so here we go so here's your aokp boot animation um and this is jelly bean based rom so we're going to let this thing load up and just kind of play with it really quick and then i'm going to show you how you can switch between roms really easily and we'll go into that too so just hang on a second all right, so we have uh, just booted up uh, AOKP, which uh, looks pretty nice. And we're going to go into settings and about phone. And you can see we are on Jelly Bean, which is Android 4.1.2, and it's AOKP. Um, so very sweet, very awesome running on our uh, Droid Bionic. Now, we're going to go into how to switch between ROMs. So right now, if you power off your reboot, it's just going to keep bringing up AOKP. Um, if you want to go back to stock or switch between any ROM, let me show you how to do that. So we're going to go to reboot and just hit uh, reboot, not recovery. Um, so the device is going to reboot right now. So we're going to go back into safe strap 3.0. Let's see here get to the splash screen all right hit the menu button and let's see how hard it is to switch between ROMs I'm really not sure I think it should be as easy as literally just pushing some boot options so let's go to boot options and then let's go to stock manage and now let's see if I can go back here no nope. so this says manage ROM slot stock so activate Okay, so now we're on stock. So that's it. You just hit it. You hit activate because you've already... And see now you can also see my ROM slot here is ROM AOKP. And stock, you just hit activate. You go back. You can see up here at the top it says ROM slot stock. You hit reboot. And system, I think is all we got to do. Reboot system, not off. Um, and that's how easy it is to switch between different ROMs. So you can see you're on unsafe here, your safe strips disabled. You can hit this to continue. You should have your uh, normal boot animation for ice cream sandwich slash droid bionic, whatever you had in there. Um, there you go. And we should come up with the exact system you started with. Um, so pause and you'll, I'll show you that in just a sec. And that's pretty much it guys. That is how to use safe strap 3.0 that's how to install ROMs with it, um, backups, everything. It's an awesome system. Uh, the different ROM slots are crazy good. The switching between ROMs is super fast. It's basically a reboot and five second little switch. You saw how quick it was. So definitely check this thing out. It is awesome. Um, like I said, as soon as we reboot here, I just want to show you that it reboots and you're back to the screen we started on. And um, that's it, man. Install as many ROMs as you have space on your device uh, and there you go here we are we just booted back up and I'm not gonna put in a passcode but anyway that is it you're exactly back to where you were um, so please check this out I'm gonna give you guys links to safe strap 3.0 um, hash codes blog where you can get a lot more information and find other ROMs to install on this thing along with Kexic stuff. This has Kexic support, so if you have a Kexic ROM, you can use that. Um, so I really appreciate you guys watching this. Um, please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Two thumbs up if you really enjoyed it. And uh, I will catch you guys next time. Thanks.